Hey, I'm Reza. Uh, I'm here to talk about dialing in a good, a decent uh, rock guitar tone. Now, I've got myself here an old Marshall Plexi. Uh, originally, they don't, they didn't have a master volume um, on these things, so you'd have to crank them right up in order to get um, uh, distortion happening with the amp. But these, this one, this one actually has a master volume on the back. However, it's still turned all the way up. And the reason I've done that is because I want to get some power amp saturation happening. Power amp saturation is when you actually get some distortion happening with your power tubes by pushing them really hard. Um, and that is achieved by cranking your master volume up really loud. Now, <clears throat> for any of you guys that has a valve head, you probably realize that the more you turn it up, uh, sometimes the better it sounds and um, I would have to agree with that as well but uh, in a sort of uh, a small club average show or rehearsal situation you know that's not possible because our amplifiers just get too loud so this is where this thing comes in it's a THD hot plate it's an attenuator and what the, what it does is it um, it sits between your head and your speaker cabinet in your signal chain but basically it allows you to achieve that cranked tone at a lower volume so what that would do is uh, it would allow your guitar uh, to have a lot more clarity in the mix um, so i'll give you an example so i've got my amp set up everything's at halfway I've got the treble just before four. And uh, it's a pretty decent tone. Um, from here, uh, I start shaping my EQ and I always recommend you start uh, at the 12 o'clock position with your EQ. Now, my amp, the presence control I know is way too harsh. So I always keep that out of the mix. So in the noon position, it's a little bit too zingy for my ears and uh, it's kind of a little bit not desirable. Um, so yeah, I'd actually start shaping my tone a little bit with these fellas here. And uh, I personally like playing with as little as, uh, amount as bass as possible. I, uh, I think that that uh, gives you a little bit more clear tone. Now you notice if I crank up my uh, hot plate, it's going to give me... It's going to give me the same tone at different volumes and that's what we want. We want to be able to get that loud saturated sound at low volume. So if I turn it all the way up, basically it just, it allows you to get louder and softer and retain that you know, that cranked up power valve saturation, which is extremely desirable, especially if you're playing in like a two guitar band and you sort of jump in and out of solos, um, you'll notice that uh, it won't get, your lead levels won't get lost in the mix, you know, and they'll always cut through. <laughs> That's my uh, that's my little presentation on attenuators.